the same that you want. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kofi and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Right now, what I've got for you guys is we're going to do a custom tactics vid on a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now, this formation helped me go up three divisions. Last time what you guys saw, I think I was in division 7 or 6. Right now, I am in division 3. Um, yeah, this, this formation is bust me. I feel like I get the best of everything. I feel like compared to last year, this formation is so much better to use so we're just going to head straight into it it's the team and we're just going to show quickly how we run our uh how we run it so straight into it we're going to go defense style press off the possession loss uh you're going to have 50 width and 54 depth um for me right now this is the best because with my team my team are workers they like them they have good work rate so they can run about and they have good stamina so they can they can uh they don't burn out after like 60 minutes they can do they can do a whole 90. um press off the loss for me is um it's the best one to use uh you can do press off the heavy touch as well that one is quite good press off possession loss is a little bit more ratty but it just helps as well sometimes uh when you do lose the ball the whole team just comes out and just goes full force like the opponent trying to get the ball back i play long ball on the offense direct passing 50 width and then we've got four players in the box two on corners two on free kicks those don't really matter it's not as important uh, the players in box corners free kicks that's entirely up to you i just like i just like doing it like this um direct passing this is my favorite because i like to play quick football i like i like to uh if you guys see my other tactics but i usually have direct passing on all, all the time because i like just getting the ball quickly passing directly to the like strikers feet and then they're gone straight running at the goal trying to get uh trying to score so here's the instructions so on my striker i've got stay central and get behind and stay forward um this helps just so when you're on your counter he's up there already where the rest of the team's already sitting back and then yes on my left striker um, it doesn't really matter which one you have on, uh, it depends on for you. For me, I go on my left. I got balanced width on support runs, getting behind and come back on defense just so it um, helps overload on 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 defense. Sorry, I had a little brain spasm. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it just helps overload on defense because this way it also helps with the right center, the right center, sorry, right forward is he's just on balance width balance defense support and just getting behind so what this sort of does is yeah is that well Coleman, what he's gonna do he's gonna tuck in a little bit next to valverde and then the back line no not the back line but the midfield sorry starts to defend as a back for a uh, midfield for, wow i can't talk sorry as a midfield four so then it's sort of a straight line and then uh, Becker would sort of drift a little bit more to the left and then Juma would drift a little bit more to the left so it's as if when you're on the counter you got those two um, sitting at the front ready to go ready to do that quick one two over the top just darting straight through getting behind on the defence so then cool for our DM we've got stay back while attacking cover centre just those two we just want to make sure um so it just allows more freedom for the other two midfielders they they can go up basically knowing they got lima who's in the dm right now just got some quick uh they got they know that lima is just there behind them in case anything goes wrong there's not going to be a massive hole at the back on valverde we just got cover center um so he's just basically got a freedom he's just got freedom he can do whatever he wants he he can go up and down up and down for me in this position here it's important to have high high work rates um that's just me personally because when they have like high medium they going up they're fine but sometimes i feel like they're a little bit too lazy on the comeback so you'll be wondering sometimes yo i feel like i'm sort of missing the playoff when i'm on a counter but they're just been a, just a step too late on coming back and then on munier i got the same thing cover center and that's it um 
right now, yeah, same thing basically with Valverde. What I sort of noticed is because when Kerbin, um comes back on defence, Valverde goes a bit more towards where Lima is. Lima goes a bit more towards Munier is, and the Munier goes a bit more like between Lacroix and Fringprong. So, like I said just earlier, it becomes like a midfield four, and it defends like a four four two, and then when you but it attacks like a uh, a four three three really. That's the best way because the Komen and Danjima are out wide, but then when you're on the counter, it changes to a four four two. So then with the back line, obviously your centre backs just stay back while attacking. Fring Pong, uh, what I do with both my fullbacks actually, I got stay back while attacking and overlap. This helps a lot for me because this formation is so attacking and it invites it invites so many options. So you're not always attacking the same way. Sometimes you're gonna end up seeing, let's say like Fring Pong, uh, just dart forward, just running, overlapping Danjuma. And let's say I got the ball to Valverde and I see that I can do it over the top, breaking the entire back, uh, the entire back line of the opposition i've got the same on mendy um the, this is what i'm gonna say if you can't defend if you're struggling to defend i'll probably say have them on normal so they don't they don't come up as much um don't yeah because this is you have to, for me personally for this formation you have to be able to defend you know you have to be able to read how your opposition attacks i'm not saying i'm the best defender in the game i'm not just saying i can defend anyone but i feel like i can defend well enough to risk having just let's say Alaba, Lacroix and Lima in uh, sitting back while I've got the rest of my entire team trying to get a goal and if it don't work then we're on the we're on the counter and we have to break that I, I know I have the ability to be able to try and stop that at any means and if I can't and they score they score this formation just helps a lot because there's so many ways of creating chances you can get the goal back so yeah, this is the tactics for the 4 3 2 one. Let me know how you guys find this in the comments. Let me guys uh sorry, I really can't talk today. Let me know if you guys want to try any other formations. I got loads. Like uh you guys know the 4 1 2 1 2. I got a 4 2 3 1, I got a 4 triple 2. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell in the corner, and I appreciate all the love. Enjoy yourselves. Peace. Get back, nigga!